Hey, how's it going? Am I coming through okay? Good. I'm Dr. Brown, and I'm so glad you found your way to my lab. I'm thrilled that you volunteered your time. I'll be helping you learn about blood, and you'll be helping me with my experiments. Don't worry if you can't see me. Just know that I can see you. I know, I know, kind of creepy. <laughs> but I'm busy in another lab, so I can't be there in person. I'll be joining you via the intercom and video system. First things first. Head over to the table and pick up the headset. You'll need it to continue hearing me. And I'll come through much clearer. You may not need... Okay, can you hear me? Much better, right? Now, take your time, walk around the room a bit, and check out the lab equipment. I think you'll find there's some pretty cool stuff in here. Oh, you found the microscope. If you'd like to take a peek inside, just lean forward a bit toward the eyepieces. If you need help, instructions on how to use it are on the pop-up hologram right beside the microscope. Wondering what this button does? Hit it to see who will be joining us for our experiments. Good, you found the molecular teleporter. This is one of my favorite inventions. If only I could get this thing out of the lab, we could be rich. Maybe for another day. Ready for a wild ride? Okay, now find the entry labeled Tutorial and select it to load. While the machine warms up, let's go over some ground rules. I'd recommend keeping your hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. That is, if you don't want to lose a foot, a hand, or what happened last week. Never mind. You definitely don't want to know what happened last week. Don't worry, it is perfectly safe. Basically, we will be disassembling your body, atom by atom, and reassembling you inside the bloodstream of an animal. You'll be yourself, but just a smaller version. How cool is that? You did read all the fine print waiver you signed, right? There may... Hey there. I hope you can hear me. Crazy ride, huh? I'm so glad that worked this time. Seems like we have the kinks worked out because, well, you're here. Don't worry, I never doubted you for a second. Our machine, on the other hand. Okay, never mind. Let's get to it. You are now in the bloodstream of a dog. We have dramatically reduced the number of blood cells present, so you'll be able to see what's going on around you. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to see anything because the blood would be too thick. I'll give you a second to take in the majesty of it all. We have many missions for you to complete, but before we can dive into other scenarios, you must first learn the basics of how to use our state-of-the-art tools while inside the bloodstream. We've prepared this scenario for you to get your feet wet in a healthy dog's bloodstream. First things first, press the trigger button on your left controller to bring up your handheld menu. Glance down at your hands and find the highlighted trigger button. Ah, great job! So, if you're right-handed, then the current controller settings should work for you. However, if you're left-handed, I strongly recommend changing settings through a very scientific approach. Swap the controllers. <laughs> Ah, it seems you have the controllers in different hands. If you're left-handed, this will work. However, if you're right-handed, I recommend swapping controllers. 
The default screen that you see is your objectives screen. This will come loaded with your current objectives for the chosen experience. As you can see, I've already preloaded this for your tutorial experience. Just by opening this screen, you have accomplished your first objective. So yay! Here's another fun sound for you. Oops! Loaded the wrong sound. <laughs> there you go. Now, wasn't that fun? Okay, time to move on to another important tool, the time manipulator. When you're ready, please press the highlighted right trackpad button on the controller. Oh, look at that. You know what that sound means? You've completed another objective. How fun is that? So, if you look at your handheld menu and check your objective stats, you'll see that yet another objective has been fulfilled. See how that works? So much fun, I can hardly contain myself. Now look around. See all those cells zooming past you? Wouldn't it be cool if we could catch one and observe it closer? Well, today's your lucky day. Whenever you're ready, point the highlighted controller at any one of the red blood cells and hold down the trigger button. Congratulations! You've successfully learned how to grab cells from the bloodstream by activating your tractor beam. An invention of my own making, and I think you'll find it pretty darn useful. Remember to keep holding the trigger down, or your cell might float away. Now, let's observe this cell a little more closely. If you aren't already facing the observation pedestal, please turn around until you see it. Fantastic! And what a beautiful looking pedestal this is. Now, get close enough to the pedestal and place the cell on top. Perfect. You are really getting the hang of this. Now that the cell is on the pedestal, we can look at it in more detail. We can increase the cell size, shrink the cell, and rotate it. Let's try to do these things now. First, try touching the cell with either controller and press the highlighted grip button. While holding that button, gently move the controller to your left. Make sure to grab a red blood cell first and hold on to it. Looks like you got it. As you might have guessed, just push the controllers back together to decrease the size. Try it now. You can learn more about each cell just by placing it on this pedestal. Each cell contains information that you can download using our data extractor. If you haven't already, please bring up your handheld menu by pressing the highlighted trigger button. Using the highlighted trackpad buttons, navigate to the screen titled Data Scanner. Under that, you'll see the Scan option. As soon as you find it, select it to start the transmission. Great job! Once you're finished examining the cell, it's time to return it to the bloodstream. Just grab the cell by holding the highlighted controller trigger button and throw it into the bloodstream. Go on, give it a try. You did a fantastic job. You now know a great deal about how to study cells while immersed inside the bloodstream. There are a few things that we didn't cover, but don't worry. We'll cover new tools when the time comes to use them. If you have a second, check out your objectives. All of the objectives should be marked as completed, except one. Use the tools you used previously to grab and examine another circulating cell. This time, choose something other than a red blood cell. You'll need to do all the same actions as before, except this time, I'll go radio silent to give you a moment. Let me know if you need anything by calling me from your handheld device. It will be in the menu screen titled, Help. Now, enjoy some soothing music while you explore. Great job! Now, I recommend not spending too much time in miniature form as the results can be undesirable. So, whenever you're ready, open up your handheld menu, navigate to transport mode, and select the back to lab option.
Okay, just as before, hold still. You may feel a bit strange, but everything will be okay. At least I hope so. Just kidding. <laughs> and we're off.